spiritual? We approach the spiritual with a very dark, warm sound. And so we learn more of a covering of our voice uh, to gather that or capture that sound uh, using lip vowels and the open oo, o, ah. This time sing oo, o, ah, uh, and s use the gestures, this for an oo, this for an o, and the hands again for the ah. Step. Good. We make sure that our lips are pursed uh, and that we are singing with big open throat. Another exercise that we can use uh, is the Oreo cookie exercise, which I borrowed from Charlotte Adams, where you pretend that there's an Oreo cookie in your mouth. You're not going to break it. And you sing the vowels EO coming down on a descending five tone scale. And down a half step. Okay, with our hands on our cheeks. You can sing, no, 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 You want flat cheeks, and again, lots of lip rounding. Going up. Good, good. Um, you can also sing, uh, Woe is me, woe -ho is me, and woe is me. Up a half step, big O, and with a wa wa. Woe is me. If you have words such as world in your piece, you make sure you set the vowel with an oo vowel, and that will help just open it up to a wonderful warm sound. We sang the Moses Hogan, I Can Tell the World, this fall, and we incorporated these concepts as we learned it so that it would sound with this big, wonderful, warm, dark tone. So we're going to speak the text of uh, Moses Hogan's I Can Tell the World just uh, in the Julia Child voice. First of all, I can tell the world. I can tell the world. About this. About this, I can tell the nations. I can tell the nations that I'm blessed. That I'm blessed. Good, good. Now applying this to the music. Listen for the wonderful open sound they get and the tall dark vowel. I can tell the world, yes, about this. I can tell the nations, yes, that I'm blessed. I can tell the world. 